Chinkos before I do any craziness today. Because I've had some bad crashes in wet, slick mud too, because I'm on the... I'm not blaming the bicycle tires specifically for that. I might have crashed anyway, even with Shinkos or Golden Boys or what have you. I, it still might have had the same exact result, right? But I think my odds would have been better with better tires than with worse tires, right? I mean, if there's a 5% chance of a crash on e-bike tires and I'm on better tires than e-bike tires, well, wouldn't that lower my chances of crashing at least by a percent you know and you take that one in 20 chance and you reduce it down to a one in 23 chance or whatnot i'm happy with that i'm happy with taking less risk so yeah i'm getting some better tires i think it's damn well worth my safety so this is not arm break point arm break point is that's what i'm calling this place it's arm break point and actually before i broke my arm here there weren't even any signs were slippery when wet or whatnot there was nothing and i i was just it was my first night out after the ri the river had actually come up over i'll show you where but the river had actually come up over the concrete and then receded again so it looked like it was fine it looked like it was fine it was nighttime granted i was i was riding my bike at night so it was nighttime and uh the river had receded and i thought it was safe but there's this um this dirt that turns into this red mud and it's so slippery it's god awful as a matter of fact i wiped out here recently on just a wet day like today so that's why i'm grandma in this part but this right here is not wet under here right now but where the river comes up over this it's absolutely awful when it recedes Anyway, that's me being a chicken. Watch me chicken out where I broke my arm. Yeah, if I broke my arm and I'm doing the exact same thing again, you guaranteed I'm going to do it different. <laughs> I'm not going to do it the same way. Do the exact same thing in the exact same condition, get the same exact result. And a uh, broken arm, I'm not really in for that today. Like I said, I even regret not wearing my pads because of... It could be something else that breaks my arm today. And I will say my, my pads did save me from a broken arm recently. So wear, wear, be a smart rider. Wear your gear. Or be stupid like me and take off without it. I got my helmet. You know, I'm not going to die out here. I could easily break a hip. <laughs> Pelvis. Elbow. Arm. Yeah, it's a little wet out here. <sighs> but I gotta go, I gotta ride, I want to, I want to that bad. It is worth the risk, even if I'm being chicken through the whole thing. Was that paint? I think I just ran over some yellow chalk or paint. I'm hoping it was chalk, but it looked kind of like I don't know. We'll see if that comes off. Dang it. Bicycle cleaning day is Sunday, which is still a long way off. Today is Tuesday. I skipped it this weekend, but I got it the weekend before. So maybe every twice a month, I'll clean up the bike really well. And uh, so far, I haven't taken it to a car wash or pressure sprayed it or hosed it or anything. What I've been doing is um, I've just been taking like a Dawn Power Wash and Pledge and other products like that. And, wiping the mud off and cleaning the tires up with that stuff i do have like motorcycle tire cleaner but i've been using just power wash dawn power wash to be honest and uh, i have I, I have the pledge available i don't think i've tried it yet but uh pledge what that does is it acts like a wax for your frame and keep your frame shiny and fresh or at least that's what i've been told so that's what i'm gonna try I think that was just chalk on that on the ground there because it came off of the uh, tire pretty well it looks like I'm sure it'll come right off <sighs> see I, I my rotor is still bent on my on my brake but it's still working and for me, good enough is good enough, especially if it saves me a few dollars right now. 
I am strapped for cash. Like I already had to reduce my allowance ridiculously. Like I'm on like 80 bucks a month right now. And I'm in debt to that value by quite a bit. I probably won't be able to buy another thing until March unless it's safety related or maintenance related. I'm not buying anything. Which I considered the Shinkos after yesterday to be safety related. So I, I got the Shinkos even though I'm already in debt on my budget. I got them anyway because I think that it's that important to be safe. Granted, now today I'm out here in the wet without them because they haven't come in yet, which is stupid. But, you know, whatever. Worth the risk. He said nervously. He said nervously with doubt in his own brain, wondering if he should have even came out today, knowing it could pour at any minute. And uh, this is definitely a best case scenario so far. I'm not even doing that today, I'm, which is relatively safe. It's relatively safe. Do it. Do it. This is nothing. That may be the extent of my adventurousness today, though, because believe it or not, like even out there right now, I know it doesn't look like it, but that stuff is punky. Like, uh, easily. Could easily have a problem. Even though that grass is pretty firmly rooted, there's still some spots where I lose my tire. And I tried to come up one of these the other day, and uh, the tire slipped right out from underneath me, and I had a nice bruised rib for about three weeks. Awesome. Actually, it was this bigger one over here, but still. I'll pass on the bruised rib today, guys. And again, it was wet and punky, just like it is right now. I was racing around uh, down there. I went over that little grass bridge right there where the drain is. And I raced past those trees. And then I tried to come up after this bend up here. Not this bend, next bend. And it didn't work out for me. Had a nice crash. Boosh. That was when I was not, I think that was in between my recordings. But yeah, I'm getting, getting new tires. For absolute sure. I bought some tire tools too. I'm not sure if I'm going to need them. I actually had some different ones picked out and I watched the video but I've heard that they can be hard to install but yet then again I've heard the same thing about normal bike tires and the answer is guys if you're changing out your flat and you cannot get the tire back on the rim you just you're struggling you cannot get the tire back on the rim it will not bead the right answer is to redo that entire bead just take it back off of there save your breath save your energy and try it again from a different angle maybe switch seats switch positions get to it from the other side and just try again and uh, if it's not if it feels harder than it should be and you're worried about scratching up your rim well it's harder than it should be because you shouldn't have to worry about scratching up your rim get on the other side of the thing and try again and do everything you've done everything unless you know maybe one side is good and you know it's good we'll leave that alone but the side that will not work with you is start over i'm telling you it's the best thing you can do for your mental health and for 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 the for your bike is just try again and maybe that one won't work out either we'll try a third time you'll see me with my shinkos i'll i'll try and talk you through it but uh tire installs if they feel harder than it should be, or if it's like, seems like an impossible task, it, it probably something's gone wrong. I wish someone had been there to tell me that when I drilled in the holes for my battery. I should show you these monstrous holes I accidentally drilled because of um, what was I was using. I think I was using a concrete drill bit to try and go through aluminum. And it just wasn't happening, but I'm bullheaded. So I just kept on going. And four hours later, I had my two holes drilled. Four hours later, with a drill. 
I had my holes drilled, but I wish someone had said, dude, you're being an idiot. Why don't you stop and try a different kind? Try that brass bit. Try, try something else. This isn't working. But no one was there to catch me or help me. So, you know, I, I did the idiotic thing and got through it. My holes are atrocious. I had to restart one and I've got a huge canyon gap in my frame now uh, where I almost went all the way through and then realized I was off center and had to start again and it's atrocious. I got two quarter sized atrocities on my bicycle that I've covered up with quarters. I drilled some holes in some quarters and used them as washers and uh, it was the right size to cover up my mistake even if I had to take off my seat. But uh, yeah, yeah, that kind of sucked. So if you're gonna be drilling holes in your bike, make sure you know what you're doing, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna teach myself how to solder too, and maybe I'll take a film of that. I need to learn how to solder because of, um, like I, I cheated and I used a XT90 extension cords, or XT60 rather, extension cables to install my battery blender. But I'm not overly happy with it because it's outside of the control box. Like on a wet day like today, I actually could have an electrical short because it's not inside of the frame. I, I did the whole thing outside of the frame using XT extension cords because you can't uh, fish an XT60 fat connector down the tube. Um, you have to just fish a wire down there. And because I didn't try to do an entire connector, it wouldn't fit, which caused me to just say, you know what, for now, hockey tape, go outside of the frame. It won't look perfect, but it'll be fine. 